What should you do when you leave your car unattended for a few minutes? A. Leave the engine running. B. Switch the engine off but leave the key in. C. Lock it and remove the key. D. Park near a traffic warden. The correct answer is C. Lock it and remove the key. What should you do if the vehicle starts reversing off the driveway? A. Move to the opposite side of the road. B. Drive through as you have priority. C. Sound your horn and be prepared to stop. D. Speed up and drive through quickly. The correct answer is C. Sound your horn and be prepared to stop. Why is it important to make full use of the slip road as you join a motorway? A. Because there's space available to turn round if you need to. B. To allow you direct access to the overtaking lanes. C. To allow you to fit safely into the traffic flow in the left-hand lane. D. Because you can continue on the hard shoulder. The correct answer is C. To allow you to fit safely into the traffic flow in the left-hand lane. You're carrying an 11-year-old child on the front seat of your car. They are under 1.35 meters, 4 feet 5 inches, tall. What seatbelt security must be in place? A. They must use an adult seatbelt. B. They must be able to fasten their own seatbelt. C. They must use a suitable child restraint. D. They must be able to see clearly out of the front window. The correct answer is C. They must use a suitable child restraint. You wish to turn right ahead. Why should you take up the correct position in good time? A. To allow other drivers to pull out in front of you. B. To give a better view into the road that you're joining. C. To help other road users know what you intend to do. D. To allow drivers to pass you on the right. The correct answer is C. To help other road users know what you intend to do. What color are the reflective studs between a motorway and a slip road? A. Amber. B. White. C. Green. D. Red. The correct answer is C. Green. What part of the car does the law require you to keep in good condition? A. The gearbox. B. The transmission. C. The door locks. D. The seat belts. The correct answer is D. What could you do to help injured people at an incident? A. Keep them warm and comfortable. B. Give them something to eat. C. Keep them on the move by walking them around. D. Give them a warm drink. The correct answer is A. Keep them warm and comfortable. Why should you allow extra room while overtaking a motorcyclist on a windy day? A. The rider may turn off suddenly to get out of the wind. B. The rider may be blown in front of you. C. The rider may stop suddenly. D. The rider may be traveling faster than normal. The correct answer is B. The rider may be blown in front of you. You wish to tow a trailer. Where would you find the maximum nose weight for your vehicle's tow hitch? A. In the vehicle handbook. B. In the highway code. C. In your vehicle registration certificate. D. In your license documents. The correct answer is A. In the vehicle handbook. You're driving on an open road in dry weather. What distance should you keep from the vehicle in front? 
a a two second time gap b one car length c two meters six feet six inches d two car lengths the correct answer is a a two second time gap You're following two cyclists as they approach a roundabout in the left-hand lane. Where would you expect the cyclists to go? A. Left. B. Right. C. Any direction. D. Straight ahead. The correct answer is C. Any direction. How should you dispose of a used vehicle battery? A. Bury it in your garden. B. Put it in the dustbin. C. Take it to a local authority disposal site. D. Leave it on wasteland. The correct answer is C. Take it to a local authority disposal site. You're in a built up area at night and the road is well lit. Why should you use dipped headlights? A. So that you can see further along the road. B. So that you can go at a much faster speed. C. So that you can switch to main beam quickly. D. So that you can be easily seen by others. The correct answer is D. So that you can be easily seen by others. You're approaching traffic lights and the red light is showing. What signal will show next? A. Red and amber. B. Green alone. C. Amber alone. D. Green and amber. The correct answer is A. Red and amber. Following a collision, a person has been injured. What would be a warning sign for shock? A. Flushed complexion. B. Warm dry skin. C. Slow pulse. D. Rapid shallow breathing. The correct answer is D. Rapid shallow breathing. You've been involved in an argument that's made you feel angry. What should you do before starting your journey? A. Open a window. B. Turn on your radio. C. Have an alcoholic drink. D. Calm down. The correct answer is D. Calm down. What should you do if your anti lock brakes, ABS, warning light stays on? A. Check the brake fluid level. B. Check the foot brake free play. C. Check that the parking brake is released. D. Have the brakes checked immediately. The correct answer is D. Have the brakes checked immediately. You're driving towards a left hand bend road. What danger should you be anticipating? A. A vehicle overtaking you. B. Mud on the road. C. The road getting narrower. D. Pedestrians walking towards you. The correct answer is D. Pedestrians walking towards you. What should you do when you're passing loose sheep on the road? A. Briefly sound your horn. B. Go very slowly. C. Pass quickly but quietly. D. Herd them to the side of the road. The correct answer is B. Go very slowly. What's the main benefit of driving a four-wheel drive vehicle? A. Improved grip on the road. B. Lower fuel consumption. C. Shorter stopping distances. D. Improved passenger comfort. The correct answer is A. Improved grip on the road. You're looking for somewhere to park your vehicle. Neither you or your passenger are disabled. 
What should you do if the only free spaces are marked for disabled drivers? A. Use one of these spaces. B. Park in one of these spaces, but stay with your vehicle. C. Use one of the spaces as long as one is kept free. D. Wait for a regular parking space to become free. The correct answer is D. Wait for a regular parking space to become free. You've just passed your first practical driving test. What will you have to do if you get six penalty points on your license in the next two years? A. Retake only your theory test. B. Retake your theory and practical tests. C. Retake only your practical test. D. Reapply for your full license immediately. The correct answer is B. Retake your theory and practical tests. What should you do as you approach a lorry that turning towards your direction? A. Slow down and be prepared to wait. B. Make the lorry wait for you. C. Flash your lights at the lorry. D. Move to the right-hand side of the road. The correct answer is a. Slow down and be prepared to wait. Why is it dangerous to travel too close to the vehicle ahead? A. Your engine will overheat. B. Your mirrors will need adjusting. C. Your view of the road ahead will be restricted. D. Your sat-nav will be confused. The correct answer is C. Your view of the road ahead will be restricted. You're driving on the motorway in windy conditions. What should you do as you overtake a high-sided vehicle? A. Increase your speed. B. Be wary of a sudden gust. C. Drive alongside very closely. D. Expect normal conditions. The correct answer is B. Be wary of a sudden gust. You're driving towards a zebra crossing. What should you do if a person in a wheelchair is waiting to cross? A. Continue on your way. B. Wave to the person to cross. C. Wave to the person to wait. D. Be prepared to stop. The correct answer is D. Be prepared to stop. What should you do if you think the driver of the vehicle in front has forgotten to cancel their right indicator? A. Flash your lights to alert the driver. B. Sound your horn before overtaking. C. Overtake on the left if there's room. D. Stay behind and don't overtake. The correct answer is D. Stay behind and don't overtake. How can you use your vehicle's engine to control your speed? A. By changing to a lower gear. B. By selecting reverse gear. C. By changing to a higher gear. D. By selecting neutral. The correct answer is A. By changing to a lower gear. At an incident, someone is suffering from severe burns. How could you help them? A. Apply lotions to the injury. B. Burst any blisters. C. Remove anything sticking to the burns. D. Douse the burns with clean, cool water. The correct answer is D. Douse the burns with clean, cool water. You're going to turn left from a main road into a minor road. What should you do as you approach the junction? A. Keep just left of the middle of the road. B. Keep in the middle of the road. C. Swing out to the right just before turning. D. Keep well to the left of the road. The correct answer is D. Keep well to the left of the road. 
How should you use anti-lock brakes when you need to stop in an emergency? A. Keep pumping the foot brake to prevent skidding. B. Brake normally but grip the steering wheel tightly. C. Brake promptly and firmly until you've stopped. D. Apply the parking brake to reduce the stopping distance. The correct answer is C. Brake promptly and firmly until you've stopped. What should you do when you're approaching traffic lights that have red and amber showing together? A. Pass the lights if the road is clear. B. Take care because there's a fault with the lights. C. Wait for the green light. D. Stop because the lights are changing to red. The correct answer is C. Wait for the green light. You take some cough medicine given to you by a friend. What should you do before driving your car? A. Ask your friend if taking the medicine affected their driving. B. Drink some strong coffee one hour before driving. C. Check the label to see if the medicine will affect your driving. D. Drive a short distance to see if the medicine is affecting your driving. The correct answer is C. Check the label to see if the medicine will affect your driving. What should you do when you park at night on a road that has a 40 miles per hour speed limit? A. Park facing the traffic. B. Leave parking lights switched on. C. Leave dipped headlights switched on. D. Park near a street light. The correct answer is B. Leave parking lights switched on. You're approaching a roundabout. What should you do if a cyclist ahead is signaling to turn right? A. Overtake on the right. B. Give a warning with your horn. C. Signal the cyclist to move across. D. Give the cyclist plenty of room. The correct answer is D. Give the cyclist plenty of room. What should you do when you move off from behind a parked car? A. Give a signal after moving off. B. Look around before moving off. C. Look around after moving off. D. Use the exterior mirrors only. The correct answer is B. Look around before moving off. You're approaching a red light at a puffin crossing. Pedestrians are on the crossing. When will the red light change? A. When you start to edge forward onto the crossing. B. When the pedestrians have cleared the crossing. C. When the pedestrians push the button on the far side of the crossing. D. When a driver from the opposite direction reaches the crossing. The correct answer is B. When the pedestrians have cleared the crossing. When would you use the right-hand lane on a three-lane motorway? A. When you're turning right. B. When you're overtaking. C. When you're traveling above the speed limit. D. When you're trying to save fuel. The correct answer is B. When you're overtaking. You're following a long vehicle approaching a crossroads. What should you do if the driver signals right but moves close to the left-hand curb? A. Warn the driver about the wrong signal. B. Wait behind the long vehicle. C. Report the driver to the police. D. Overtake on the right-hand side. The correct answer is B. Wait behind the long vehicle.